Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It's the 2nd of June and I thought I would share with you my 100 day project which is finished. I actually finished it on the 30th of May. I've just been too busy to do a video to share it with you. I started it on the 22nd of February so it took about 98 days I'd say because officially it should have been finished on the 1st of June at midnight. So my 100 day project for those of you who don't know what i was doing i was doing the and i'll do the front cover jigsaw puzzle blanket a stephen west paid for pattern i'd have this in my favorites and i quite like the idea of using up a lot of scraps that's his there he used all different colors and yes i shot my stash basically i used a lot of my eight ply walls um eight ply being dk or three weight and um i used a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle now in the pattern he uses two four ply held together or fringing away and a five millimeter i used a 4.5 millimeter because i wanted a tighter weave it is a knitted blanket so it does take some time i'm really surprised i finished it on time because i did fall behind for quite a while there what I liked about the pattern is I really did like even though I didn't color it in like him the graph because I actually did get lost at one stage up here and had to refrog because I joined to the wrong piece but I really did like this it helped me a lot and it wasn't a lot of little scraps some of them were 50 gram balls or more um, I think 43 grams and maybe some 20 grams but a lot of them were bigger it looked smaller on the graph than it actually was when you were knitting it up so the actual pattern why did i like it well it helped me improve my knitting skills i certainly improved my joining of the triangles by picking up stitches look they're not perfect but they're definitely a lot better than i did before i cord bind off on such a big item really help improve that because i'm not used to doing an eye cord bind up and you do it all the way around the blanket and following a color chart that was really helpful and i certainly improved my skills in that sort of thing because i'm not a big chart user so would you like to see it look you won't see much on the video but i will have some pictures at the end um unfortunately it's not blocked yet i it's friday I plan to block it this weekend, but ta-da, <laughs> it's huge, it's really big. I ha I'll put measurements in the description below, I didn't think to measure it. But as you can see, you knit some really long pieces and then very rarely, if I can find one, you knit a small piece. This was my mistake. This one here was the wrong one definitely shouldn't have used that but it's for me personally you see that's about the smallest triangle but as you can see i did it in the tones of the colors in my house in my decor that's probably a little red but it doesn't matter but browns and oranges bordering on reds i really wanted to use some of this yarn up because i did have a lot of it so the yarns that i used were um I've written down Click Heaton that you buy here, which is pure wool. Pure wool from Wanger out of Woolen Mills. Um, Bendigo wool from Bendigo Woolen Mills, especially their bloom yarn, like the Red Sky, which is um, this one. And that's that orange is from um, New Zealand Loyal. The variegated from Mangaratta, yes so definitely used up quite a bit of my wool stock of eight ply because i did have a lot that is some um old bloom yarn i had and as you can see the border is you go around you knit up what stitches are on holders you pick up stitches and when you've been all the way around you do an eye cord bind off which i really like you can see my joins aren't too bad um, so yeah, I really enjoyed making this. Um, I don't do a 100 day project every year. 
I sometimes I find I just get too busy um, I enjoyed the stitch pattern even though it was just garter stitch learning to angle the triangles in decreasing um, and making sure I'm picking up the right side of the triangle to continue on because it's all knitted joined um, I like the fact that I used up some of my yarn stock however I didn't like all the ends there were a lot of ends um, so that was it my Stephen West jigsaw blanket for my 100 day project that um, is finished make sure you check out the photos at the end I probably will enter this in Mouse's Makes Stephen West Marathon Challenge. Um, this is my second Stephen West project for this year, along with my um, Starflake shawl. And I have a third one on the go. Would I do a 100-day project like this again next year? Maybe. I have actually found something. Um, it's just a matter of I may practice it first because it's Tunisian crochet. So two years I I did this the Doctor Who scarf, you know, the two meter Doctor Baker scarf in 2019 and that was just knitting garter stitch. This one and I thought I should try something different if I decide to do a hundred year a hundred day project next year and I'm thinking maybe to knitting crochet. That could be a challenge. So guys I hope you enjoyed seeing my 100 day project. I did invite people to join me and I did say for depending on how many people join me whether I do a giveaway or not. Well there's only actually two people that joined me and I'm going to I know, know both of them who they are. I have their contact details so I might send them a little gift to thank them for joining me in the 100 days of a project. One was knitting and the other was journalising and I got some beautiful journalised pictures. So yes, next year consider doing a 100 day project. Just a little something, work out how many rows a day you need to do or a week. And yeah, it is fun and it is a challenge. Just keep it simple because if it's complicated, you'll give up before the 100 days is up, rest assured. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and consider doing a Stephen West pattern. Trust me, they are really easy to follow, well explained and well set out. I can't um, rave about them enough. Bye for now.